Hey guys, welcome back to Sabro. So in this video, we will be talking about the power cord for Discord. So recently you may have heard this name power cord on internet or from your friend. So what exactly it is? This is an alternate option for better Discord. So they have launched a feature, you know, that through which you can install your plugins and themes. And there are many other options like emojis with extra features. So recently, uh, Power Cord is uh, live and you can only use for Discord Canary. You cannot use on your Discord PTB or Stable. So let's see how you can install it and how you can use it. So let me, you just need to come to this website. I will just leave the link in the description. You can copy and paste in your browser. And once you come into this website, so you will see it says lightweight, native feeling, and it comes with robust APIs, plugin themes and theme customization. There are many other things which will be probably launching in the future. So now if you click on the installation, it will give you the brief guide that what are the prerequisites and what, how exactly you need to install it. So there are three different requirements. We need Git, we need Nod, and we need Discord Canary. Okay, so let's start the installation process. First, you need to install Git. So click on the first link. And now here you can choose your operating system, either Mac, Linux or Windows. So I will go with Windows. And it will start downloading the file. Once installed, click on open file. And then click on run. Give the permission by clicking on yes. And now you have to go with next, next, next and next. And here also go with next. Okay, next, next. All right, so you need to keep clicking on next until you get the option enabled. So once the installation is complete, uh, you just click on finish. And then you can close this page and go back to the same power cord website so now we are done with number one now we have to install nod and npm so click on this link so all the instructions and link will be provided here the download for windows 64 it will automatically detect so i will go with the current version so click on this one and this will again start downloading and once downloaded you just need to click on the file and you need to run it it's been done i will click on open file and then click on run so again we have to go with this installation as well so you will be getting this window and then the installation wizard so now the next option may appear in some time okay so you just need to wait and now click on next just check this box i accept the terms then click on next 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 Keep clicking next and then install. So now again, the installation for the knot will be started. And once done, it will give you the option for the permission. Click on yes. And now it will validate the installation. So once done, click on finish. And now we're also done with the knot part. So let's move to the number three where we need to load Discord Canary. So now here, depending on your operating system, you can choose. I will go with Windows. I will click the link. And Discord Canary will now start downloading. Okay, now it's been done. I will click on open file. And then click and run. So Discord Canary has been now installed and starting now. Okay. So let me quickly just sign into my account. So now once I'm signed into my account, now let me go to user settings and you will see the normal discord menus. There's no extra options, right? So let me go back. So now it says open a command prompt terminal of your choice. So now if you are on your Windows computer, you just need to open your command prompt. OK, and do not open command prompt in as run as administrator. Just simply on the search box type CMD and then hit enter. OK. 
okay this is the way you just need to open it so now we have to just run these command so simply do one thing just select the first one go to command prompt paste it hit enter so now wait until it's been completed so now once done just copy the second one and then paste it hit enter and then the sec third one and then enter again and now probably here you need to wait for some time so now once we are done with this paste the last code and then hit enter again so now you can see you will be getting this message power cord has been successfully plugged so now let's restart discord canary so i will just simply go here on the system tray icon and just make a right click on it and choose quit discord canary and then let's open it again it is now once it's been installed you will be getting this uh, message this proper power cord what's new so once i close it and if i go to settings you see there will be some extra option here added power cord so it says general setting plugins themes updater clickable edits and now if you might be thinking of like there are already few commands few plugins command manager connections emote utility hey girl there are a couple of them so in the next video if you want me to uh, explain that how to use this plugin then just leave your comment in the comment section and one more thing that this better discord plugin won't be working here or better discord themes or emojis won't be working here okay so just leave your comment in the comment section if you want that how to use power cord plugins then i will try to make a next video on that and please hit the like and subscribe button too so that you can get the notification and also to help me thank you so much